Welcome him in 2014. You're about to see a new round of attacks in the race for governor. WISN 12 News political reporter Kent Wainscott is tracking the latest entries in the campaign ad war. Yeah, it seems as though we're seeing new ads from the Burke and Walker campaigns almost daily. Today, each side launching a new attack from Mary Burke, an ad accusing Governor Walker of handing millionaires and big corporations hundreds of millions of dollars in tax cuts, while the average Wisconsin taxpayer gets just an $11 a month tax break, roughly the price of a pizza, the ad says. While the Walker camp is out with a new ad accusing Burke of lying about her jobs plan, misleading voters over Walker's jobs record, and claiming Burke can't be trusted. The governor today was also defending his environmental record against some new attacks. We've improved uh, the ability to have clean air, clean land, clean water in the state, but we've showed that a good environment and a good economy are not mutually exclusive. Uh, there are some that want um, us to focus in areas that would exclude economic opportunities. It's hard to be pro-jobs in this state if you are, are not pro-development. Uh, what we are doing is finding a way to balance the interest of sustaining our natural resources. At the same time, we help grow the economy. Now, Mary Burke didn't have any public events in the area today, but 12 News has learned that Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren will campaign with Burke at UW-Milwaukee on Saturday afternoon. And both Burke and Walker will face off in their first debate Friday in Eau Claire. We'll be there to cover it for you.